Welcome everybody. Today in this video I'm going to focus on a brief introduction to data services and show you the actual product. In the introduction video to BR Blue, I explained this diagram. In this video I'm going to discuss the data services component. As you can see in the diagram, the product is able to retrieve data from many sources which include structured and unstructured data. This is important as many other products in the market are usually only able to extract from one type and not both. So examples of structured data would be the data from a relational database management system. Example of this is Sybase ASE, MS SQL, Oracle. Examples of unstructured data would be text files and documents. From there we can cleanse, transform and load the data into more than one source. However, in most cases it would be into a data warehouse. So over here are some typical examples of where we can extract data from. As one can see, we can virtually access data from nearly any source. We can access data at a database level. We support all the well-known databases. Then any other database not listed, we can access via ODBC connection. We can also access data at an application level. This meaning we can access the data by making use of the application's library. This application's library has important information for us to identify the tables, the table names, and the field names. Then we can also access data from COBOL, files, mainframes, and unstructured data. So why is this important to us? Because you know most of our competitors will claim to give you a 360 degree view of your business, but you have to ask yourself if they can really do that. If any of the sources of data listed here exist in your business, and if our competitors are unable to extract it, then you will not have a true 360 degree view of your business. At the moment now we are inside data services. Data services are Windows based GUI as you can see. It has made up of several little windows. We have a project area. We have a local object library. Now the project area, you basically use it to maintain your project and create new projects. So here I'm going to create a project, a demo project. Then within the demo project, we usually create a batch job. The batch job just controls how everything is executed and when to execute it. Then from here we have what we know known as a workspace. The workspace allows us to build our components. It is all graphical, drop and drag. This is what we call a workflow. A workflow itself does not do anything. We just use it to build a structure to contain objects and to execute a specific sequence. So from within a workflow, we can put a data flow. A data flow actually does some sort of work and executes something. So for example, we've got a data flow. And then within here, we can say what we want to build and how we want to build it. Then once again, if we go back to the local object library, it is made up of content that we've made before. So here's a demo project I just created. He has two other demo projects that I have. Then it shows you the batch jobs that I've created. Then obviously the workflows we've created. Then again, the data flows. And over here we've got transforms. These transforms we use to manipulate the data and execute and transform the data as we need. They are categorized by the platform, which means it's normal stuff that you use all the time. Then we've got data integrated specific ones. And then we've got data quality, which is also data cleansing. So to, and then we've got a data stores tab. The data stores tab basically has all our connections to our different types of databases. So in this example, we can see there's those tables. But I can also just double click here and it will show you all the tables that actually exist in that database. So for instance, I can import a table. And if I go back one, and if I have to open here, you'll there see that it exists for use. And then we can drop it here, make a source. And as you can see, we can access the data. We can then say what we want to do with the data. I'm going to create a very simple flow here where I'm just taking the data from one side and putting it into another database. As you can see, I'm just choosing all the columns that I want. We could have chosen all the columns. We could have not chosen all the columns. We could have left some out. And then I'm just creating a target table. Okay. So now if I go back here, it's going to execute workflow one, which in turn will then execute one data flow. And in that data flow, it will then move the data from this table orders, which is in MS SQL, to another table, to a demo table called BR Blue. So now, if we have a look, the one table should be created in here. As you can see, there's no tables. And then the other table is coming from this database. 
What I'm going to do now is also remove this workflow because this workflow is not actually doing anything. And then I can execute. It will then tell us that it's busy running, give us a little bit of a log to show us what is happening. If an error occurs, this button will go red. Now the job says that it is complete. If we go back over here, it tells us that it transferred 7,733 records. If I come back into this database, you'll see over here, it still doesn't list the table, but now if I go right click, refresh, there is the table that we just ran in execute and transfer the data. So as one can see, data services can be used to transfer data from one database to another or from any type of source into a single data warehouse. What we also have over here is we've got our file formats like our Cobalt Copybook, Excel, XML, flat files that we can also retrieve data from. We also have functions which, you know, you can build your own functions to do specific things. So like if you're going to be doing a lot of date formats, we can build a function and with uh, make it with the input parameters so that we always send input parameters and it always returns back a specific format. That brings us to the end of our demo. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please contact us on info at brblue.co.za.